Hello gang, welcome back to the Get House Fitness channel. Today I will be going over my um, wash routine, what I do in the shower, when I get out of the shower, all that good stuff. So as opposed to when I was a loose natural and I had to do a whole pretty tangle and a pre-poo and a deep conditioner before I got in the shower and then wash it and then condition it in the shower, re-detangle it, mm. <laughs> it's making my head hurt thinking about it, then get out of the shower, detangle again and moisturize and set a style, whether it was a braid out or bantu knots or twist out or whatever. Um, it took all day. I mentioned in my, I think my two year block update that my routine now takes basically as long as I want to invest into it, but just like the bare minimum to get my hair clean, reset, um, and conditioned like 10 to 15 minutes in the shower and then a few steps out of the shower um, and I'm done. So I would just say 15 to 30 minutes tops. So I just got out the shower and like I said, I washed my hair. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is show you the products I use in the shower and then go from there. So before I get in the shower, I just shake my hair out to make sure there is nothing uh, stuck in it. I am finding now that uh, smells are like stuck in my hair, just like even if I go outside, you know like when little kids come from outside and they smell fresh, maybe they just said that back in the country where my uh, parents grew up, but they smell fresh. <clears throat> I feel like my hair smells fresh. So uh, every evening, this is off topic, I have to spray my hair with some rose water just so it smells good to me. But anyways, neither here nor there. So I wash my hair, I soak it down, and I wash it with um, tea tree tingle, and I don't know if these are gonna focus or not, so if they don't, I'll also put some footage in of these. Um, and I use this because it's clear. I used to use Dr. Bronner's, but I will, uh, do a video of why I don't use it anymore. So the first round I go through, I just do my scalp and wash that really good. I rinse that out. Then I do my scalp and drag it through my hair. And then I rinse that out. I rinse it uh, with just like letting the water hit it. And then I take the shower head down and press the shower head to my hair so that I can see the suds come out. And I do that until it runs clear. It doesn't take long. Um, I've actually found that it takes longer to rinse the conditioner out, which is probably why people say conditioner causes buildup, but um, I'll get to that in a minute. So anyways, I do that. Then I follow up with, it used to be um, the Hask uh, conditioner, but I have switched to, and it's still kind of wet, um, the, and again, I don't know if you can see this, <laughs> the Shea Moisture. Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. This is bomb. I just found this about two months ago, and when I put it in my hair, like immediately it already feels like silk. <clears throat> so with this, I also pour into my hand either some avocado oil or some jojoba oil, and I work that into my hair, getting the ends really, really well. I usually have my hair turned this way, and um, <clears throat> Today, I only did that, but I usually also do the um, Jamaican, this is not Jamaican, the Dr. Bronner's Citrus Organic Hair Rinse, just to help since I have recently colored my hair. I did not do this today because, like I said, rinsing the conditioner out takes a while, and I didn't have time to invest to also rinse this out because this seems like it takes longer to rinse out than the... Um, treatment mask and I usually wash my hair on Sundays but it was Thanksgiving this weekend and I needed Sunday to recoup and it is Monday and I'm basically using my washing my hair as my lunch break because I got other stuff to do so I didn't have time to do both so um, usually there will be both or sometimes I mix them together uh, but today I just did this so I will let it sit in my hair while I wash my body and um, then I'll rinse it out. So this is really, really important when I rinse this out. Like I said, I let the water hit my scalp, hair, rinse it out, rinse it out. It'll look like it is all out. The water's running clean. Once I take the shower head down and press it to my hair, all of 
the conditioner starts to come out. So I would, um, what's the word? Advise. <laughs> I would advise you if you're using conditioner in your locks, which you probably should if you have hair that is my hair type because it's very dry, um, to make sure that you have a shower head that you can bring down and press it to your hair so that you can ensure that the conditioner is actually coming out because I really thought that the conditioner was out until recently, which I would say maybe six months back I started doing that. Uh, pressing it to my hair and actually seeing how long it took for it to really come out and it's usually about two to three minutes per the per each conditioner and if I do both of them together it usually takes about four or five so yeah I do that I rinse that out I put my uh, hair up after I rinse it out well I do a cold shot so after I rinse it all out I take cold water and rinse all over my hair close the cuticles it feels great on my scalp and then I'll put my hair up wash my face and then um, had up this put a dark shirt around my hair let the water come out and it's usually darker than this um, but I can't find my black and navy blue shirt so anyways so I let this sit on my hair for five to ten minutes to start soaking up the oil and then I will put this mixture on my scalp this is either jojoba oil or avocado oil, whichever one I have, handy, and peppermint oil, like lots and lots of peppermint oil, because it feels really, really good once you have finished washing your hair and your scalp is all clean, to put this up there and just let it tingle and mingle and be happy and fresh and free. So I'll put that on my scalp. I'll spray a little bit of this on there, not enough to wet it, just enough that I can smell it. Um, and then I'll let my hair dry some more. So post that, I will follow up with when I actually uh, oil my scalp. Like I know I oiled it with this, but that's play play for my type of skin. <laughs> so once my hair is almost completely dry, I will um, oil my scalp with this shea butter, which is by Consentials out of Nashville, Tennessee. And then I will oil the length of my hair with some Jamaican black castor oil. This is the vitamin A, D, and E. Um, if my hair is really, really in a tizzy, when I am at the point right out of the shower, after I take this off and I'm putting this on and this on, I'll go ahead and put this on then. I don't like to put this on that early usually because it's going to take longer for my hair to dry. Um, but if I feel like I really need to seal in whatever moisture is in there because it's extra dry, then I'll do this before my hair is at the end stage. So that is my whole wash routine. Like I said, it takes me uh, 10 to 15 minutes in the shower if I'm just doing it the bare minimum just to get it clean and reconditioned. Um, and if I am going to do both conditioners or just be in there just feeling myself and playing with my hair, you know, it can take 15 to 30 minutes. And then when I get out, wait 10 minutes or so, let the um, shirt soak up the water, squeeze some water out. I don't wring it, that's bad. Squeeze the water out and then oil my scalp with my peppermint mix, spritz my hair with a little bit of water just so it smells fragrant, let my hair dry over, you know, an hour. Mm, it depends on the temperature outside. So if it's 80 plus, it might take an hour. If it's below 80, it might take a couple hours. But uh, so one to two hours, let it dry. When it's almost dry, then I will oil my scalp with this and put this on the length of my hair. So that is my whole routine. So if I add up all of those minutes, I would say my whole routine will take me anywhere from, let's say 25 to 45 minutes, which is a godsend considering I came from it taking me anywhere from <laughs> six to eight depending on what I was doing and as my hair got longer so when I locked my hair um, without straight shrinkage meaning pulled straight my hair was about here just a little bit lower than my armpit which my hair now is almost armpit um, as it got longer it just took longer and longer to do uh, when it was short uh, it didn't take long at all, but of course you don't have that much hair to detangle, you don't have to put that much product in, you're really not going to be doing a bunch of 
twist out some bantu knots because you just don't have the length to do so. Um, so anyways. So that is my wash day routine and the products that I use. One day I'll be one of those fancy people that can take you into the shower and show you how I wash my hair and all of that, but I don't currently have the setup in this apartment to do so. So give me like six to nine months when we move again and get into our second home. I'm sure I'll be able to do it then, but it's not happening right now. So I hope this uh, can suffice for now. If you have any questions, about your own lock journey or want to share some information or even some products that you use that you found helpful, please do post those comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Peace out.